One of the most important ways that galaxies evolve is by interacting with other galaxies. When we compare the most distant and earliest galaxies observed by Hubble, we find that they are smaller and more irregularly shaped than today's grand spiral and elliptical galaxies. This means that galaxies grew over time through mergers with other galaxies to become the giant systems we see today. Astrophysicists may learn more about the process by which galaxies form when they examine nearby galaxies, as doing so from an external point of view provides more of a comprehensive picture than looking at the Milky Way from inside. A new study shows that the Andromeda Galaxy, the Milky Way's neighboring spiral galaxy, may be a cosmic cannibal, expanding by eating smaller galaxies. This was discovered from examining a globular cluster of stars known as the Dulais structure, from the Welsh meaning black stream, that is now located in Andromeda, but seems to have originated from outside the galaxy. The Dulais structure is bathed in light from star clusters that orbit in a way that is unusual for many other clusters in Andromeda, suggesting that a stream of stars may represent the leftovers from a galactic-scale meal that Andromeda once enjoyed. The results provide evidence for the theory that the expansion of galaxies occurs aggressively and irregularly, as giant galaxies devour smaller ones. If this revised scenario for Andromeda's evolution is accurate, the next question is what the spiral galaxy has eaten from these other galaxies. Andromeda has evidence of two significant feeding events, as identified by the study team. Both meals occurred between 8 and 10 billion years ago, therefore they both fall within the last 5 billion years. Due to the galaxy's expansion during the last 13.8 billion years, the concentration of matter in the cosmos during these meals would have been higher than it is now. The formation and expansion of galaxies like Andromeda since then have evolved the universe from a shapeless homogeneous desert of matter into the complex, diversified, and colorful place it is today. But the specific mechanism by which this occurred is still a mystery. It is not yet certain if the Milky Way, which is about the same size and shape as Andromeda, has also participated in periods of galactic cannibalism to promote its own expansion, but there is evidence that our galaxy has been merging with, and even eating, other galaxies. A clear picture of feeding events and growth surges in Andromeda, however, does not indicate that this is happening in our own galaxy. The next step for the study team is to determine when exactly the Andromeda feeding events happened. The data will be useful in refining simulations of galaxy creation and development, Andromeda's homegrown characteristics, and the remnants of other eaten galaxies are at different distances. Therefore, astronomers need to know how these distances interact to establish the ages of the meals. Thanks to this, the crew will be able to reconstruct Andromeda's past in three dimensions. The results of the team's study have been approved for publication in monthly notices of the Royal Astronomical Society, and a pre-print version is available on Archive. Links to both will be included in the video description. Let us know what you think in the comments section below, and as always, don't forget to like, subscribe, check out our previous videos, and visit our website if you love reading at www.nasaspacenews.com. Thanks for watching.